Thank you. Thank you. Lord, keep to Hallelujah. Thank you. So Welcome. We're waiting for more people joining. We're starting in less than a minute. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you, Father. Hey, welcome everyone. I greet everyone. Very welcome. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you very much for today's broadcast. We want to give you praise. We want to give you glory because you are awesome to help us. You are mighty to save. As we dip into your word tonight, Lord, we ask that you will give grace. Utterance will be given. Tremendous blessings will be off. Amen. Will be afforded every single one of us in the name of Jesus. Every one of us will experience your mercy at a level we have never done before. In the name of Jesus, we receive grace. We receive mercy. As your people gather around your word today, speak expressly, mighty spirit of God. Let the waves of your glory cover us. Let the waves of your glory cover us. Let the strength of your hand be demonstrated on our behalf. Lord, we give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you for our sisters, our brothers from different parts of the planet. As they gather around your word today, you bless them. You will bless them. You will show them your hand. They will encounter the favor of your face in the name of Jesus. The favor of your face will be evident upon their lives in the name of Jesus. We want to bless you, Father, for you will do for us what we could not do for ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And that, Lord God, as those who are still struggling with the, with the access, Lord, we ask that you give them help. Indeed, you will raise an invading army that will overwhelm the world, that will fill the earth with the knowledge of God as the waters cover the sea. In the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles of all sorts, Lord. Let prayer requests become testimonies and praise reports in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We rejoice as your people gather. When your people gather, there is a release of glory. We give you praise, Father. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Everyone is welcome. Today, like I believe you all know, we'll be dealing with a very important topic. God's invading army. God's invading army. And when we're talking about the army, they don't wear the regular military uniform. They are robed in the spirit. Their costume is not military, military gear of this world. The Bible says, uh, we, though we live in this world, we do not war after the flesh. Okay? We do not war after the flesh. I will give some strategic uh, inferences and examples for you to learn something that will be of eternal worth and value. Precious before the Lord. Amen? 
So today, we trust God to show us some very unique insight into scripture. The things we have papered over, but that is loaded with divine gems and treasures. The Bible says the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him and that he will, uh, uh, he will, uh, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his salvation. I believe the Lord will show you a dimension of grace that brings about salvation, which has appeared to all men, but not all men have seen it because to some people it's still hidden in plain sight, but God will open your eyes to see them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I want to start when I'm talking about God's invading army. I'm not talking about army of angels. Those all are backup forces. The real army are humans. God is Jehovah Sabaoth. Jehovah Sabaoth meaning the God of the angel armies, but he functions amongst us so that his divinity will mingle with our humanity so we can have a new reality. And the reality will not be the kind of experiences you've had before. A new thing, like he promised, I will do a new thing. These are the days that God wants to show us a dimension of himself because we, till we go to heaven, we will keep discovering God. That's the reality. We will keep discovering God. We will keep discovering God. The multifaceted wisdom of God, the dimensions of grace will be unveiled to us in layers, in layers, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. That's the way the Lord described it in scripture. Amen. So um, I want to encourage us to follow through with me. I will start with this example. I'm sure we all know the, the mammal, the sea mammal called whale, okay? The sea mammal called whale. The whale lives in the ocean and that's the, about the largest creature made by God. That's a living creature. The whale is the largest. No other animal on land compares with it. No other animal uh, in the sea compares with it. None in the sky compares with it. But he is planted by God in the ocean. But over time, every whale will die from drowning. It will drown in the place he has survived for so long. Because every whale must come out of the water to breathe. It doesn't carry the gills that helps you to breathe underneath. It comes to take fresh air. So also we are not designed to live without God. God expects us to come to him on a daily basis to take a fresh dose of heaven's breath and mingle amongst men. So when God is raising an army, is is an army of humans that have tasted him like the scripture said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So we all keep going before him. Said, they go from strength to strength. Everyone that appears before God in Zion. Zion is God's people arranged in divine order. Order is the first commandment in heaven. So God is, is raising an army of men and women who are passionate about the things of the spirit, who will always go to God for fresh breath of eternal life, a fresh breath of Zoe. And when we do that, just like the whale, we, 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 we renew our strength. We exchange our old strength for a new one. God has so much to give us. And as we pay attention to what he has to say, he said, we have the word of the prophet. Uh, we have the, more, the word of the prophet and we'll be wise to pay attention to it, even as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the day star arises in our hearts. Amen. So the army of the Lord that is being raised right now, the role of men like me, apostles and prophets and teachers and pastors and evangelists, the fivefold ministry give is to raise the army, the invading army. When this stage, because we are very close, we are like this to it. And in fact, some of us are already stepping into it. That dimension of grace will make everyone Everyone on the screen right now, and 
and your own sphere of influence, you will become active ministers of the, go of the gospel. That the role we play is that of a coach. The coach does not play in the, in the competition, okay? The coach does not play in the competition. It's the team that plays the competition. But without the coach, the team will not be prepared. My role is to prepare you and multiple others across the globe for the mighty army of the Lord that is rising. And as we are rising, the world will not be able to ignore us because it will no longer be one big pastor. The era of one big pastor is going to fade away any moment now. The era of big man of God will fade away. Quote me on this, under God. Because everyone will become effective ministers of the word of his grace. Because the same movement is kicking in. And that is the dimension of God's invading army. They will go to the street. They will go to the marketplace. They will go to the schools. They will go everywhere preachers are normally snubbed. These men and women of which you are an integral part will go to those places and they will take the kingdom of Jesus there. And as they do that, as they do that, great things will begin to manifest. And as they manifest, God will be glorified. That is the army. And you, you see, before we start to read scriptures, I'm not going to read too much of it tonight because it's just the opening so that we can pray. But we will take time to show you line by line, precept by precept, the way these things are intended to unfold. And the unfolding has already started. It has. Okay? Come with me. I want to show some things for all. The book of... Uh, I want to read a few uh, verses from the book of uh, Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 10. Okay, Zechariah chapter 10, I will start to read from the third verse. God, those who are manipulating the gospel, I need to sound a warning. Those who are manipulating the gospel are going to get whipped on their behind from above because God is about to begin to take care of the individual members of his body, the church. When I mean church, I don't mean denomination because that's not God's idea. The denomination, we are one nation under Christ, okay? So those who are trying to mislead people because of selfish interest or things who are not proclaiming the truth as they know it, such people are going to be whipped in their behind because God is going to begin to take care of God's people, direct access, direct access. That is when the, 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 the men who have been used as pioneers and as foundation ministry, because that's what the apostolic is about, is a foundation ministry. When the building is fully built, the foundation is no longer revealed. The foundation goes under. When the house is properly developed, the foundation will no longer be visible to the eye. Okay? So we need to understand that we are transitioning into a new season, a new dimension in which all that God has been building will be made strong. God said he will take care of you the way a, uh, a cavalry soldier takes care of his own horse, military horse, stallions, strong, built for strength, built for speed, built for resilience. That's the way God is building you. That's why some of the glitches you think you are experiencing they are meant to make you better, not bitter. In fact, the more training you have, the tougher the dimensions of battle you can survive and withstand and win. Not just survive or withstand, you ultimately win. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. So God who has appointed the things that God planned to make happen in your life, your, the kind of work he wants you to do for him determines the kind of training he will allow you to go through. What you call troubles are actually trainings most times. That God chooses to keep himself anonymous. That you are being prepared for something awesome, something, something majestic, something marvelous. So you need to see it differently from the way you used to see it. God does not hate you. He loves you. Uh, from the position of love, 
is training you, making you ready for the task ahead. For the task ahead. Hallelujah. Let's take, let's read a few versions. Chapter 10, Zechariah, we read verse 3. He said, the Lord says, I'm reading the Good News Translation, the U.S. version. He said, the Lord said, I am angry with those foreigners who rule my people, and I am going to punish them. The people of Judah are mine, and I, the Lord Almighty, will take care of them. They will be my powerful war horses. He didn't say they will ride on horses. He said they will be the horses. Horses take men to war. Okay? That's the one dimension of what we are talking about. Okay? That's one dimension. The other dimension is that you are the horse upon which the rider, Jesus, will ride to battle. So they will think it's just you but a greater one than you is operating through you, okay? Let me read another version, the New King James Version. It said, my anger is kindled against the shepherds. The shepherds, they are here. It has two, two levels of understanding in the place I'm trying to explain here. Hmm? It's talking about leaders who are not doing the right thing who say, do what I, what I say, not what I do. Meanwhile, Jesus, through Paul, I mean, uh, Apostle Paul, was told, he said, be followers of me as I follow Christ. It should be leaders that are leading by example, that are leading and going forward with the word of the Lord, with the word of truth, that are producing the results that the world is waiting to see. The Bible says, by this shall all men know, uh, know that God sent me when my disciples have demonstrated love one for another. Okay, that's one level. And pastors who, who don't want to do the right thing, even though they know it, and some who don't know because they didn't seek God to know. Okay, he said, and I will punish the goat heads. Some versions will call it billy goats, stubborn goats, meaning the stubbornness there is that somebody who knows what to do and refuses to do it. Hmm? He, called it he said he will punish the goat herds. You know, goats represents rebellion, sheep represents submission. He described his people as sheep and described the stubborn rebellious one as goats. There will be sheep nation, there will be goat nation as these days are going on. He said, for the Lord of hosts will visit his flock he called his people his flock and the house of Judah, and I will make them as royal horse in, the, in battle. Royal horse. Some versions will call it majestic steeds, majestic war horses. Okay? So for you to get into that dimension, God is going to have to work on you. And as an army, God will train you. The soldiers that will win in the, in the war, the soldiers that will win in the time of war are trained before the war begins. You don't train soldiers at the war front. They become easy, soft target. So God is training you, is training me to become all that he wants us to be. And as we are beginning to learn the ropes and grow in the knowledge of him who has called us unto glory and unto virtue, we will begin to uh, see the dimensions of grace that God has kept for our elevation, for our promotion, for our glory. Amen. Okay? Let me read another version here. I'll read the message translation. Before I go to other portions of scripture, but we need to know this, that God is doing something in this day and time. At the beginning of the year, the Lord reminded us that it's going to be sweet and sour. 2023 is going to be tweet, sweet and sour because it's the Hebraic year 5783. And three is resurrection. So the invading army, we're going to wake up out of a long slumber, out of a long dark night of apostasy in many quarters. God is raising a new army. 
fully charged, fully energized, that are ready to do battle. The soldiers in that army are all equipped. Hallelujah. The Bible says, my people shall be willing in the day of battle. But I have a version, the NIV version, that gives us a better understand, uh, understanding of that scripture. Okay? It said, my people shall be free will offerings. It's not just be giving offering. We will be the offering. Just like in the place of uh, Zechariah chapter 10, verse 3, we read, in which he said, look, we will be treated as majestic horses, war horses. They are not... Uh, uh, what do you call this? Ponies. We are not ponies. We are war horses, militarized horses, okay? Militarized horses, trained for war. And something about the war horse, it doesn't run away from where there is battle. In fact, when he smells battle afar off, he charges towards the battle. The way God used David as a war horse. What Eliab, the big brother of David, was running away from and hiding in caves and in in, uh, in uh, what do you call it? In tunnels. David ran towards the enemy. That is the kind of thing that we are talking about. Because something on the inside is turbocharged and you are charging towards the adversary, not running from the adversary. Okay? You are running towards the enemy, not from the enemy. Because the enemy will be the one to bow to you. You will be the one that charges forward. Just like David charged forward towards Goliath because God is making you a war horse. A war horse. Hallelujah. Let's read the net version. I'm giving this dimension so you can understand the season you are entering into. God will wake some of you up at night to pray. Pray in tongues and prepare because you don't know what the new day will bring. Okay? You don't know what the new day will bring. So as God is training you and you are responding to training and you are responding to training, a day will come when a special mission needed to be carried out. God will pick you as part of the elite forces like Navy SEALs. God will pick you up and say, go and challenge that enemy and bring him down. Shame the enemy. He is going to use not apostles, not pastors, not evangelists, not teachers. In this end time, he's going to use his army. The army of the Lord are the people of God. Those are the people that God is going to use. So you need to begin to prepare your mind. God is going to you. He's going to make investment into you in this season. And God does not demand of you what he didn't pre-invest into you. Let me repeat. God does not demand of you what he has not pre-invested into you. He wouldn't expect you to go do something he has not coached you about. He will lead you. It may be a spontaneous response, but he must have made an initial deposit into your spirit from which you can draw and use for the work that is ahead. Okay? Hallelujah. Let me read the next version. I am enraged at the shepherd and will punish the lead goats. For the Lord who rules over all has brought blessings to his flock. Notice, to his flock, not to the lead goats, not to the billy goats, not to the shepherds, not to the leaders, but to the flock, the people of God. That is the, the, the God's invading army. They are going to arise like a locust army. The locust does not have a leader, but it, they, they, they invade the space and cover it. That's the way church is going to be played out. It's not going to be our church, my church, their church. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Everybody that has faith in Jesus will come in unison and we will proclaim him Lord. We will proclaim him Lord. And as we proclaim him Lord, he is going to show himself as Lord, as master, as owner. That's what we are talking about. That's what we are talking about. Hallelujah. He said, the house of Judah and will transform them. Notice that, that New English translation. He will transform them into his majestic war horses. You see, a transformation is coming, my brother, my sister, that is not going to be needing me to do what I'm doing. 
every one of you will be doing the same and repeating the same across board. The nurses will be ministering to nurses. The doctors will be ministering to doctors. The artisans will be ministering to artisans. The businessmen and women and uh, owners and captains of industry will be doing the same at the same time. So we will overwhelm the earth so that when rapture happens, the world will miss us. Because God intend that you and I will become the pace setters. God wants you to set the pace. God wants you to set the pace. Enough of playing church. Look, nothing wrong with church, but church is like a booth camp. Booth camp is a temporary position. It's out there in the marketplace. That is where the work is. And like Ryan Bonke of Blessed Memory now, like he once said, he said, if you want to experience Pentecost, be ready to spend plenty cost. Most of us are afraid to spend cost. We are afraid of the cost. The price we will pay individually and the, the resources that we, it will task us. The money we'll have loved to use for something else. God will say, plow it first. It's like you got to a pump. A pump that you, uh, in a well, and for the well to pump water out, you must prime it first. So what you call money that will have been used for something, God says, use it as a primer. Prime the pump, and then you will experience a gusher, okay? And the endless flow will start. But then if you eat that, it's like a farmer that eats up his uh, seed for the next season. If you have no seed to plant, there will be no harvest in the season that is coming, that is in the immediate future, Okay. Today is the tomorrow we're thinking about. Yesterday is here. If we don't manage it well, it will be gone. Most of us are already in the evening or the night time where we are. Even in the uh, west, uh, western part, uh, the western hemisphere is already some are in two o'clock, some are in twelve o'clock, some are in one o'clock. It's already afternoon. The day is running, so we must do what we need to do. They said you will make us to be strong, like proud war horse in battle because the battle will be fought either we acknowledge it or not okay god intended that we be the ones that will showcase him amen god intended that you and i will be the one to showcase him he said the cornerstone and the peg if you see i need to read that verse four take a look at it we will take some few more scriptures say the cornerstone and the tent peg and the bow used in battle will come from Judah. Can you see the, the instruments of, of warfare, the instrument of battle, the tent peg where you camp, and then the bow, that's an instrument, a, a, a weapon of war, okay? Used in battle will come from Judah. Every oppressor will, will leave Judah simultaneously. Judah will be like warriors. When he's talking about Judah, there are two dimensions to read. He's talking about the coordinated praise, spontaneous coordinated praise of God's people. I use those two words together. Spontaneous, coordinated. You feel something, somebody else feels something, and before you know it, all of us are saying the same thing. Like we chorus or herald the praise of him. Okay, look at verse I say, and Judah would be like warriors trampling through the muddy streets during battle. They will do battle because the Lord is with them. Notice, the Lord not shall be with them, the Lord is with them. And all the cavalry will be ashamed. I will strengthen the house of Judah and deliver the house of Joseph. I will bring them back because I have compassion on them. They will be as though I hadn't rejected them, for I am the Lord their God. I will respond to them. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. The invading army of God is going to be that every market, every mall, every departmental store, every school, every place where people congregate, there will be a voice for the kingdom of Yeshua HaMashiach that is sounding unequivocally on, in a very unequivocal way that nobody will be able to ignore it. And that is the era and the time we are coming into. 
in which when Joel was prophesying, your young men will see visions, your old men will dream dreams. He said, pillars of cloud, flames and fire and all of that. The time is here. We needed to hear the cry of the spirit. God is raising an army and it's not an army of uh, spiritual giants. Is that the least of us will be like a giant. The least amongst us will be, the feeble will be made strong. We will be made strong by the Lord himself. Let me, um, let me um, uh, read the, the uh, King James Version, which is the most uh, commonly read version here. He said, my anger will kill you against the shepherds and I will kill the goats. That is the rebellion one among the class of them that are supposed to lead God's people to battle. Because everybody will be fully kitted to fight at their level. Hallelujah. For the Lord of hosts has visited his people, not sharp, has already visited his people, the house of Judah, and has made them as goodly horses in battle. Not feeble horses, goodly horses. Goodly horses in battle. Hallelujah. If your microphone is on, please, you need to, uh, please, mute it. Hallelujah. So, the, the way these things work, as we respond to the word of the Lord, there will be a new trigger in our human spirit, a new trigger that makes us feel like, look, the time is right for us to do this. You will hear God suggest to you some things you thought you have never done before or you used to be afraid of doing, but you know it's the right thing to do, but you are afraid to do. Because the spirit of fear will leave you and the spirit of boldness and courage will possess you anew. And I decree that even as you're hearing the sound of my voice, either on YouTube or on any other platform, I decree and declare that the goodness of the Lord will begin to be evident even in your experience, in the name of Jesus, that his strength yeah. will, wear, will bear you up. No matter what the enemy has told you you couldn't do before, God will tell you, hey, it's about time you begin to do them. And as you yeah. do them, God will show his hand even on your life, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 So the invading army of the Lord, don't expect the one that are special general, general of Asia or, or, or senior pastor. No, no. Their work schedule is almost done. It's the saints movement that will do this one that God is telling us to do. That does not change your status because God does not respect or crown the title. He crowns your faithfulness to that which he has called you to do. We all need to recognize that. All the people I'm talking to right now, they are at one level of leadership or the other in the body. But we are all, first and foremost, we are all saints of God. So it's the saints movement that will be, those who are part of the saints movement are the army that God is raising. He said he will treat them the way a cavalry soldier that rides on horseback, the way he might maintains his horse. God is saying he will maintain your life. Everything that you need to function well, God will make sure it's on the table. And then it's up to you to go and deliver results. There will be no opportunity for excuses anymore because the night is fast spent. A new day is dawning. A new day is dawning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to see the, the hand of the Lord manifesting more evidently among God's people, okay? And as we begin to see these things, we should rise to the challenge, okay? He's going to, let me read something now so that we can start to pray, okay? There are the book of... Um, Songs of Solomon chapter 6, we read verse 4 and verse 10. Let's quickly read those ones. He said, Thou art beautiful, O my love. You know, it's the church, it's, 
is the bridegroom, Jesus, that is speaking to the church, the bride. He said, you are beautiful as Teza, comely as Jerusalem. Don't forget, Jerusalem is the house of peace. Okay? Is the city of God. So God is saying, you're going to, he said, you are beautiful. And if God says you are beautiful, you better believe him. You better believe him. You better believe him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So God is saying that. He said then, not only beautiful, exterior, you are beautiful. But inside, you are as terrible as an army with banners. Because the beauty is exterior, God's hand is inside you, so you and I are like gloves in God's hands. Gloves, gloves in God's hands. Okay? Because we are gloves in, in God's hand, the enemy only sees the exterior beauty, the external beauty, but he doesn't see the strength until he tries to touch, then he will discover that it is something as strong as steel is on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse 10. Let's, let's look at it quickly. Okay. He said, who is she that looketh forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun? These are all descriptions describing the army of the Lord, the church, and the church, not denomination, but the church as a people of God as a people of God, the, 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 those who populate the army are God's people. And God is describing them. And I will take them apart and dissect them line by line so you can see the way God perceives you. The way God perceives you. He said, who is she that looketh forth? That is, you are, your eyes is on the finishing line. You are not looking at the devil. You are looking at what God will do through you against the devil that will bring the devil to his knees, okay? Either in your family or your workplace or wherever it sends you, okay? The church has never been overwhelmed and defeated by persecution. Persecution makes, the church is like an eagle. The more the wind is contrary, the higher the eagle rise, uh, rises and soars. The persecution does not destroy the church. It's complacency that kills the church. Okay? You need to know that. He said, who, looking forth as the morning, which morning? Out of a long dark night of apostasy and uh, lethargy, that is where this new army is rising. God's invading army that will overwhelm every structure the devil has built before now. God's invading army is rising in the corporate America, corporate Nigeria, corporate Uganda, the whole of the East African subregion, West African subregion, all the regions of the earth, they will hear him and they will hear him through you and me. Hallelujah. So the morning is out of a long dark night because every morning comes out of the womb of the night. You need to remember that. Every new morning comes out of the womb of the night. Okay. It's a fair as the moon. Now, let me describe that. The moon has no light of its own, but it has tremendous capacity to reflect the rays of the sun, S-U-N. And now take it to the next level. The moon is the church, the bride of Christ. The sun, S-O-N, the son of righteousness described in Malachi chapter four, verse two. Okay, that's the person he's describing here. The radiance of the church will represent the reflection of the rays of the Son of God shining on his church. The church is the moon. Jesus is the Son of righteousness. He shines on you. You reflect his radiance. Okay? He said, as clear as the sun and as terrible as an army with banners. He said the issue of army with banners twice in the same chapter. In verse 4, he said it. In verse 10, he said it again for emphasis and for clarity. So the invading army is not going to be led. It's going to be like a locust army. Everybody be coordinated by the wind of the spirit. That's where we are headed. And we are already dipping our feet into it already. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Men and Amen. women will hear God for themselves more clearly. You'll be going to work. God will tell you, don't drive through that place. Drive through this place. When you get to the office, they will tell you there was a bad accident over there where he told you not to go through. You may not understand why he said you shouldn't go to. I tell people, blessed are the flexible. They only bend. They are malleable. They don't break. Okay? So that's what God did. This is just part one, just to open the vista for us. We're going to treat this series a little bit. And we're going to demonstrate the, the, not just word of mouth. We're going to see the result in your lives and the things happening around your life. You will know that you are not by yourself. You are not by yourself. God is ready to trigger some stuff in your spirit and produce results you have never seen before. Okay? So that's one part of it. As God is showing you things to come, is equipping and preparing you to become all that. See, so all your experiences, both the good, the bad, and the ugly, they are only meant to prepare you so you are a better person, not an embittered person. You never, no, tra no soldier is trained with kid gloves. No. The invading army, they have experienced everything. Jesus had to come to earth to experience what it means to live on planet earth so that he can understand what we will go through. And he modeled it for us that he overcame everything. And you are meant to overcome everything. If you can't overcome it, if you can't survive it, God will not allow it to come. So looking for the path of least resistance is not the style of this army. You are signed up already. It's time for us to rise in unison and say, Lord, I'm available. And he will use as many as are available. He will use you in ways he may not use me. He will use you in ways I may never experience. But your experience will be unique to yourself. But one thing is clear. We are part of an army. Hallelujah. We are part of an army. And as we are pressing into all that God wants to do in us and through us and for us, we will overwhelm the world system. Because the world may be telling mm -hmm. people peace and safety. The Bible says there will be sudden destruction, not only the destruction, also destruction. It will not be cheap for anybody to insult the name of the Lord any longer. Because the night is far spent, a new day is dawning. Okay? Hallelujah. God is preparing to do things, to do things that will amaze you. Oh, hallelujah. He wants to do some, ma some magnificent things in our lives so that we can become all that he wants us to become so that the name of the Lord will be fully glorified in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think uh, we should be, we should be, uh, excuse me. We should be waiting to see his hand in everything. You see, if you're waiting to see his hand in everything, he will show up. He will show up. Let me stop here. We'll build on this. Don't forget the place we read in Zechariah chapter 10, in verse 3. You are being prepared as a majestic steed, a stallion, a spiritual stallion, a military and weaponized war horse, not a regular happy-go-lucky one. You are being weaponized. Your praise will be a weapon. Everything about you will be mechanized and weaponized by the breath of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to begin to pray now. I want us to individually ask God for strength in your inward paths. Because the time we are at now, God is picking on people to send on special missions. And I, I have gone on several special missions in which I have gone to places that are hostile to the things of the spirit. But I left the place making the devil to uh, have his tail between his legs. I remember some few years ago, I remember I came back from, was it from Uganda or from, I don't remember which country. 
either from Liberia or from Uganda or one of those two nations. I just came back. A day after that, I have to go for a, a crusade to, for which I have agreed to preach before and it's been set up. But while they were making the plans, I'm showing you an example because we're talking about the army of the Lord and I have a witness in the house who was part of that meeting. Okay? I came back either from Liberia or from Uganda. I'm most likely from Liberia. And so I came back to Nigeria and then about a day or two after that, I received one of my spiritual sons from Uganda who came and he was in Nigeria. He called me. I told him, I'm coming into Nigeria tonight and tomorrow we're heading to Edo State, to NIFO, National Institute for uh, Oil Palm Research. I'm going there to do a crusade. And over there, the coordinators, all the churches in that community, they are preparing for the citywide crusade. And those who are of the other side, the dark world, they challenge them that that crusade will not hold, that rain will mess up the crusade, and that unless they give them a cow to appease their idols and their gods, that nothing will be successful in that crusade. And I told them, get ready. You are going to see God. So the people, some of them were having some trepidations, but I told their leadership, hey, don't worry. I will come in the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of Christ. And I showed up. My car gave issues and all of that. I didn't mind. We got there. Me, the other missionary from uh, Uganda, we joined, we went there. I think either one of my son's biological my wife also went along. We got there. The first meeting was good. The next day, as we we're preparing towards the evening for the meeting, the clouds started gathering. And people were saying, ah, these people threatened before. Ah, these people threatened before. It's like they're going to make good their threat. They're going to mess up the crusade. I smiled and I laughed at them. I said, you guys, don't worry. Tonight's crusade will hold and it will be better than yesterday. And many people will come into the kingdom, apart from that, we were going to demonstrate the power of God. And then I went to the pulpit. And as I was uh, uh, putting my tablet on the altar at the pulpit on the crusade ground, and we used a mini stadium. The community stadium is what we used. Drain drops were dropping on the tablet. And you know, if there's water on any tablet or smartphone, the response to your touch will become compromised. So I looked at the sky and I said, Rain, you can't fall today. You are overruled. You are overruled. And in a matter of a few minutes, the sky was bright. Those who were already trying to run for cover, they came back into the crusade ground and we had a marvelous time. The devil was thoroughly shamed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So whatever is making the enemy to question your faith, will be shamed from today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God mm. will shame the enemy because of you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God mm. will shame the enemy because of you. I repeat, God mm. will shame the enemy because of you. In Amen. the name of Jesus. He said Amen. you will see him. He will show up for you. He will treat you Amen. as a militarized war horse. Amen. You have Amen. been equipped for that. And Amen. don't look down. Don't be afraid of their faces because the greater one is already resident on your inside and is waiting for you to speak on his behalf. Amen. He will make you a spokesperson in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we begin to give thanks to God now? Hallelujah. Father God, we want to thank you for giving us your word tonight. And Lord God, this invading army, thank you for making me, for enlisting me the, in the army. You have enlisted me and I'm grateful. It's a privilege. It's not a right. Thank you, Lord God, for doing this for me in the name of Jesus. And Lord, for the rest of this year, we as a people, we will demonstrate the powers of the life to come 
in the name of Jesus. Every area of life where the enemy seems to have been gaining an undue advantage, we say we overturn the table. We turn the enemy, in we the turn the enemy at the gate. Yes. We overturn the table on him in the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Every expectation yes. will be expect will yes. be exceeded. Yes. Our expectations yes. will be exceeded yes. in the name yes. of Jesus. We decree yes. and declare that the abundance of yes. grace and yes. the gift of God's righteousness is yes. going to be manifested over our lives in the name of Jesus. We see these things happen and we glorify him for it in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for doing this, Lord. We thank you, we appreciate you in Jesus' name. Lord God, we want to say, even as you are blessing your people, we will see mighty things happen for them. Lord, because they have all taken the responsibility of being part of the army in the marketplace, even in the governmental environment, where laws that govern nations are made. Lord, when your people speak, none else will be able to contradict them because wherever the word of the king is, there is authority. We decree that the authority of the king begin to be manifest even in your life at a greater level in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Michaela, I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. We are starting with you. And after Michaela, we'll be praying for... Um, uh this person i think is edith dr edith yeah we will be praying for you so michaela good evening, unmute sir. Yourself. Good, evening. good evening okay the lord says that which is making you not to be able to make up your mind that you bring in indecision because you don't want to make the wrong move the lord said i set the move ahead and there will be things that will demand you to take his time and i will walk through you and work for you he said there is no restraint with him to walk with many or with few. With few. He said if all you have is him, that he is enough. The Lord said I should tell you he is sufficient, he is enough, and you should just be quiet and be patient for him, and he will deliver results into your bosom. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Thank you. Don't, don't stress yourself. Be patient. He will deliver results into your hands in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Um, uh, where is uh, Dr. Edith? If you can hear me, just say praise the Lord. If you can hear me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. I can hear you very well. Okay. Praise God. This is what the Lord is saying. The Lord is saying that they have made several attempts. It's been recorded. You can watch it thereafter. You can go on YouTube and watch it. He said they have made several attempts to bring discouragement by even using people who are like junior cadre to you to become almost on the verge of being rude. Yes. Just to kind of ruffle you. And it's mm. just like a warfare by proxy that's being mm. fought around you. A warfare by proxy. Mm. Somebody who you didn't offend becoming sarcastic or nasty towards you for no reason. Mm. But that person is actually a tool in the hand of the enemy. Somebody is instigating that person to come against you so that they can have an occasion to accuse you, but hear the word of the Lord. The Lord is saying they will fight among themselves and the result of their fight will be open so that you will know the true picture of what is going on. Yes, praise the Lord. So all praise the friction the you seem to be encountering, either with colleagues yeah. or with other people, is not the, it's not the friction, it's just a, a detour, a decoy. Just, mm. but the real battle is to pull you out of, we've not been able to nail anything to her. If we make her, if we provoke her long enough, she will blow up and do and say things she normally would not have said. So they're yeah. trying to catch you by your words. That is what mm -hmm. the Lord has shown me. And he said, well, just maintain you. your cool because they are running out of steam. They will yes. soon fight on against themselves and expose, Praise the junior staff will expose the boss and say, but so 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 that said I should do this and do this and they were they were kind of uh, incentivizing the whole thing. They put oh, in some crazy. incentives to have them come against you. I said, who are you? We're not even on the same uh, level of platform. Why all yeah. of this? What's happening here? Okay. Yeah. But God said Praise they're going to oh. fight themselves in the open, and the whole Amen. secret will be out. That's the word Praise of the Lord for you. Hallelujah. Praise the, the Lord. Lord for you. Praise the Lord. They just Praise maintain the Lord. your cool. 
He is working Praise it him. out for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Caroline, you can unmute yourself now. Pray to see Klabrolash. Lembra la tuza pranda kitimaya. Lambara kazika branes. Lord God, I want to thank you for the healing mercy that is being extended over my sister Caroline. Lord, I'm asking that, Lord, not only hear the word of the Lord, Caroline, not only will the Lord resolve the challenges concerning health, not just for you, but to the closest of people around you, but that the, a, a new surge of the healing river. The Bible said there is a, a stream. The river makes glad the streams of God. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be ashamed. God said in all that is happening around, you will pick up the winning ticket, meaning your hand will be raised in victory. Not only will healing happen supernaturally, but an opportunity to minister healing to others will also be offered to you. Do this for me. Put your right hand across your chest and commit to this. God, as you help me, God, as you help me, I will speak when you want me to speak. Take charge of my tongue and lead me to speak the right words in season. Please say that after me. Lord, help me to speak the right words in season and cancel out everything the enemy has been trying to use to create trouble for me. I overturn the table in the name of Jesus. Now, amen. Now, this is what's going to happen. The Lord is not only going to just bring about wellness at a level that you've not enjoyed lately, but that he will also use you as a tool to also free people who have been using their own mouth to cause trouble for themselves. How do that happen? God said, I will bless them that bless you and I will curse them that curse you. Is that not what the Bible says? Yeah, but it didn't provide for when you curse yourself inadvertently. You are in a bad situation or you are in a situation and you say, oh, if I don't get this, I'm finished. You should not be saying like that. If I don't get this, oh, I'm done. Never bring yourself to a place where you use, oh, I'm dead, oh, I'm this. No, don't do that to yourself because the enemy will instigate you and put you under pressure so that you can use your mouth to say things on yourself. And the devil will say, oh, well, I told you, I told you she doesn't have faith. You see, she's using her mouth. You said you will bless on, you will, concerning the works of your hand, you said she should command you. If she commands you to hurt herself, she's the one that said it, make it happen. Because God is defending you from outside, but he's not protecting you if you use your own mouth to say it. So you have to rescind a lot of the negative pronouncements that you say either you are angry or under pressure or say either to your child or this or that. Change your language because God is changing your life. Change your language because God is changing your life. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for you. Are your daily, please unmute yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Are your daily, yeah. Praise Jesus. God. Yeah, good Hallelujah. evening. Hallelujah. Father God, we Hallelujah. want to thank you. The Lord said thank a you. new stream of encouragement is coming to you. Amen. Just receive a new flow of encouragement. The things Amen. that you have tried like twice that was dragging is not going at the pace at which you wanted it. The Lord says from this time, in fact, from tonight, it's going to begin to pick up momentum and people Amen. will phone you and tell you how to go further and how to go Amen. faster. God said, I'm giving speed and I'm helping you to generate momentum. Receive that Amen. right now. Receive Amen. that Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. That which Amen. has been said, ah, it's going to, ah, if you want to do this, it's going to take a long time. There is no money to even do it. Forget about all of that. When mm. God says it's time, God is never late. God is mm. always on time. And he said his time is here in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. Somebody is having, mm -hmm. somebody is being healed of a pain on the rib cage, the left rib cage, the left rib cage. If you are the one, put your hand there. I don't know where you are, but somebody is, I don't want to wait till I get to you. But God is saying, I'm healing the person. There's a pain around the rib, the left rib on this side. The left rib. If you are the one, just put your hand there 
and take delivery of what God is offering you in the name of Jesus. Father God, we want to thank you for bringing healing grace upon the individual that needed healing on the left part of the body, the left rib cage area. I release the word of healing in the name of Jesus. I release the word of healing in the name of Jesus. I command that the mercy of God turn things around, turn things around, turn things around in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, my sister Christine, please, ma, uh, you can unmute yourself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Libra la tazusa pranikas. In the name of Jesus. If you can hear me, let me know, ma. I'm trying to, because your your. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, I spot you now. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is saying, let your hand be strong. The journey is about to set off. The journey is about to set off. Let your hand be strong. You will not lack instruction. He said you will hear a voice behind you saying this is the way to go. Directional word will come to you by the still small voice of the Holy Spirit and you will be prompt to respond and you will meet amazing results. Some things that are almost four years behind schedule are about to begin to fast track to finishing line. I see finishing line approaching you just like you're about to breast the ribbon. You are about to breast the ribbon. In the name of Jesus, we release you to fulfill all that God has chosen this Kairos moment to make happen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus that you are about to breast the ribbon. Like in the context, in the, in the race, you are about to breast the ribbon. That the first one to breast it, receive grace. Receive grace to embrace the word of the Lord. And he's beginning to come to pass in the name of Jesus. In fact, from this week going forward, it's going to be very eventful in the name of Jesus. Receive grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, Jesus. Father God, I want to thank you. Uh, my sister, Modupe, please, can you just uh, unmute in the name of Jesus? Yes, yeah, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. He said, I am watching over my word to perform it. He has just given you a word. It's just like a word of assurance. He said, I'm watching over it to perform it. Even though you have questions out, like Mary, the mother of Jesus, had, Lord, how can these things be? How can these things be? But he is saying to you, daughter of Zion, I am watching over my word to perform it. I'm going to do a thing that will make you to shudder for holy fear. You will shudder for holy fear. I'm watching over my words to perform it, saith the Lord. So brace yourself, square your shoulders, lift up your head. You are about to see holy drama. Thank you, Father. Lord, I agree with your daughter as you have spoken. Let there be a performance of the same in the name of Jesus. Oh, wow. Overwhelm the gates of the adversary. Overwhelm the, great, the gates of the adversary. Recover all. Recover all. Grace for full recovery. Grace for full recovery. He said, because you obeyed me in the little things, I will show up in the big things for you. He said, I should remind you of Isaiah 65 verse 24. Please write it down. It's a Rima word for you. I believe it's going to make a lot of sense. Going forward. Yes, Isaiah 65 verse 24. In fact, you can start to read from verse 23. But the point there is in verse 24. Write it down. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. God, I want to thank you for the things you're beginning to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the things you are beginning to do in the name of Jesus. I want to give you praise, my Father, because mighty things are beginning to happen. Thank you, Lord God, also for um, Omonike. Yeah, Omonike. Please, ma. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to see. Okay. Somebody just wrote something there. I just trying to see. So, uh, Omonike, ma. Please. Yes, okay. This is the word of the Lord for you. Uh, I don't know if you're planning a, a trip that will entail you having to travel by air. Yes, anytime sir. soon right um 
next um, two months. Not okay. now. Uh, two months is not far away. It's very close. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is what the Lord is saying. He said between now and that trip. Yes. He said, I'm going to create the situation that will give you what I will call an aha moment. Oh, Amen. at last. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He said, I'm setting Amen. it up for you it. before the trip. Because Amen. I see you packing baggage ready for a, like a trip that will make you to have to fly Amen. across to Amen. the other location. But before Amen. you get there, an aha moment will have taken place. Something Amen. you have been praying and waiting for God to do, which Amen. cannot be done by force or by coercion. Amen. God Amen. said, I'm going to lose the, the loans of princes because of you. Amen. That the arguments will stop Amen. and conformity Amen. according to the plan of God will happen. Amen. And I, I believe you know what God is addressing. He said an aha yes. moment will happen, like yes. an Amen. Ekaros moment in Amen. which God comes through. God intercepts and he intercepts the plot <clears throat> of the enemy that says, oh, things are going to continue like this for a long time. But God said, no, Amen. it's not going to be like that. I'm turning it around. I'm turning it. God is bringing a game changer moment. He's bringing Amen. that one across in Amen. the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for making Amen. this happen. Thank you, Lord God, even for making it happen. We rejoice Amen. in the things that you are doing for Amen. your people in the Amen. name of Jesus. The name Lord of God, Jesus. we want to give you praise because you are making tremendous good to come to your people in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you very much. Dolakbo, please, can you please unmute thank yourself? You, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank please, can you please unmute yourself? Hallelujah. If you, if you do so, so that I can hear you. And then uh, good evening, sir. Okay. Okay. Well, good evening. Uh -huh. Now, the Lord said this was meant to create a distraction. I'm speaking to mm -hmm. something that the enemy is cooking up to create a distraction to split your focus. But the Lord said, see, it has been done before the enemy came late. That's Amen. just the word. The enemy came Amen. late. He want to distract Amen. you, but keep your focus. The Bible said they looked unto him and they were lightened. And their Amen. countenance was not ashamed. Amen. So he says, see, I've given you the opportunity to be able to see your desire happen. Amen. Because you, you bath it in prayer. And you're going to see the result with your eyes. Where is Florence? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Florence. Okay, there you go. Uh, you. There are there are supposed to be two Florence. The Florence uh, Akufo. I, I can't see the full name. Where are you? I'm here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've seen you now. I've seen yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you, Father. The Lord says, you will not see the, even an inch. This is the word of the Lord for you. He said you will not see even an inch, one inch. You won't see out even an inch. He said as, the, as it's been designed and structured, God will deliver a full or total package. God will deliver a complete package. You will not Amen. see out even an inch. Wow. That's Amen. what the Lord is saying. And I decree as a servant of the Most High that God's word will come to the T concerning you. You will Amen. not see or compromise or say, okay, let's do uh, horse trading. There will be no horse trading of any type in the name of Jesus. Father God, Amen. I agree with your daughter. I ask that your word will invade her space and even that those who will have demanded of that, Lord God, they will recede on their intentions and your counsel will stand. Amen. In Amen. the name of Jesus. I speak Amen. this by the decree of the Lord. Yes. The counsel of Elohim will stand because Amen. God has vested interest. Yes. Amen. Lord, thank you for making this happen. Hallelujah. You will not trade in even an inch in Amen. the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now me. Can you unmute yourself? Is mama in? Florence, is mama in? Did she connect? Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Now me, just hold on a minute. I just want to confirm something before. Uh, okay. I can't, um, I can't see her name. Um, Judith is my sister. Judith is your and sister. I don't okay. know if she's using, she's using, um, my mom is using my sister's name. Judith okay. is my sister. Okay. I don't know, but I, Judith, I don't have to Judith know. I'm online. just, because it's like I saw something that came on the screen on my side here a moment ago. But uh, let me pray with, uh, okay, I can see Judith now. But yeah. okay, I saw Eugenia. That was what uh, I saw Eugenia there. But the truth is, where is uh, Naomi? You are the one I want to pray with. I'm just looking for somebody I thought I saw. Okay. You, oh, great. Praise God. This is what the Lord said to me. I have received a commandment to bless. Amen. And yeah, I will bless. And no devil or his mother-in-law can change it. Amen. And so I pronounce the blessing of the, of the breast and of the womb over you. Amen. That God will do for you what you could not do for yourself. Amen. It's not a prophecy, it's a decree that I've been commanded to pronounce over you because yes, there sir. will be a performance. Yes, sir. These are the days of God's fulfilling his word. Amen. I have received a commandment to bless. And I pray and I bless you with the breast, I mean the blessing of the breast and of the womb Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Overruling and overriding everything the enemy might have suggested or configured in okay. the name of Jesus, you receive Amen. the blessing of the breast and of the womb Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He says, see, I will lead you out with dancing. That's a specific and personal word for you. It says, yes, see, sir. I will lead you out with dancing and rejoicing. Jeremiah 30. Yes, sir. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. Okay, sir. Write it down. That is your word. Amen. Yes, sir. Glory. Amen. Glory to God. Where is uh where is the okay? Uh, did I pray for Florence earlier? Yes, I have. Okay, who is uh, Thelma? Please, Thelma, I don't know you, but please, can you just unmute yourself? Thank you, Father. Thelma Ofuriata or Ofuriakufo, okay. Thelma, please, unmute yourself. And let me know you can hear me by saying praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, great, great. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord says you are about to uh, scale a height you have never scaled in your past. Amen. How many female children do you have? Four of them? No, I don't have any. Hmm? You don't have any? Yes. Okay. But around you are people functioning the way I see them right now. They function like children that pour water on you, so uh, on your hand, like attend to you. So this may be God showing me what is about to become a reality just down the road. Saying things before they fully crystallize. But hear what God is saying. Okay. Are you the youngest of your mom or the first? I'm the second. You have one person ahead of you that's a female? Yes. Okay. Now, here this God is about to cause you to scale a height you have never scaled before. Amen. And uh, I decree that every spirit of terror, terror simply means delay. Okay. Yeah. Every spirit of terror is broken tonight going forward in the name of Jesus. 
every Amen. delay you have experienced, either in career or family or whatever, the Lord is saying that spirit of terror is broken now, that you will begin to scale heights that are overdue. You scale them with such an ease because the Lord is helping you. I see the mm -hmm. Lord help you and raise Amen. a standard. No more glass ceiling. That's it. No oh. more glass ceiling in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. To yeah. 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 Ugona, where are you? Can you of this? Yeah. Ugona, can you just uh, how many Ugona do we have in the house today? Thank you, Father. Okay, Ugona, this Ugona, this person. Just ah. unmute yourself. Yeah. Yes, sir, I can hear you, sir. Okay. The Lord is saying that the gates are open. Walk through. It's just one word. He said the gates are open. Isaiah 28. Isaiah 28 from verse 2 to 4 is your word. He said, open the gates that the righteous nation that keeps faith may have access. So the blessing of access is coming to you. Can you hear me? Please, no mute, no yes, talking in the background. You. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isaiah 28, verse 2 to 4. Can you take a look at it? Okay. What does it say? I'm checking, sir. Uh, is it 20? Isaiah 20. Uh, is it? Uh, sorry. 26. Um. Yeah, 26 verse 2 to 4, Isaiah, open the gates that the righteous nation that keeps faith. Take a look because I need to move to someone else. We need to move fast now. We'll spend okay. some time. Open, open the gates. Yeah. That, that the righteous nation may enter. The nation mm -hmm. that keeps faith. We will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast. Not temporary peace. You. Yeah. Trust in the Lord God. Ever, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, trust in the Lord forever. Uh -huh. For the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal. Amen. Now, this is what he said. Where he said, trust in the Lord forever. As long as it takes, trust him. What he promised is coming to pass. That's just what he said to say, to tell you. The gates are open. The privilege of access is given you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The privilege of access is given you in the name of Jesus. Mrs. Uh, Lambo, I guess this is Mrs. Lambo. Uluwabu me Lambo. If you are there, just unmute yourself. Please. Let me know if you have done that. Good evening, sir. Okay, good evening, ma. Oh, okay, yeah, I see you now. Good evening, ma. Good Thank evening, you, Father. Father. You said there shall yet be great rejoicing. Amen. He said there shall yet be great rejoicing. Amen. As God unplugs what the enemy is trying to force on you, God unplugs it. Amen. And they said there shall be yet great rejoicing. Amen. He said, I will help you and I will do that right early. So don't Amen. even think about it's taking long. It's taking long. He said, I will help you and I will do that and write early. God is never Amen. late. He's always on time. Father, thank Amen. you for coming through for your daughter. Thank you for the grace thank that you, she is going to see your hand. Even this week going forward, we will Amen. see the pleasant report that you will bring about in the name Amen. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we give you praise and honor for making your word to come true for her in the Amen. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Dickness uh, Kanabe, Vero Kanabe, please, I mean, Vera Kanabe, please, ma, can you just uh, um, uh, unmute yourself? Okay, I see you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
He said, shouts of joy. Shouts of joy on the hilltop. Shouts of joy. I see rejoicing on the hilltop happening. And if there have been a pain on the right calf, on the right calf, below the knee, on the backside, on the calf, it's being removed now in the name of Jesus. Pain around the, on the calf, the right calf, that is below the knee, on the backside, the calf there, receive help and receive relief in the name of yeah. Jesus. But there is rejoicing on the hilltop, at the hilltop of victory. There is triumphing, there is rejoicing. Receive the celebration of God's goodness because it will not be a solo celebration. It's going to be something that is going to demand others to rejoice with you. He said, I should give you the word in Psalm 34. Okay? Psalm 34, yes, verse 4. Like verse 1 to 4, sorry. Psalm 34, verses 1 to 4. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank God, you. thank you for the rejoicing that you're releasing to your daughter. Thank you for making it happen. In the thank name you, of Lord. Jesus. Lord thank God, you. she will not even see it coming because it's going to come in form of a sudden event. And they will say with joy, they will fetch water out of the wells of salvation. Receive that grace to fetch water with joy out of the wells of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We Thank cause a release to happen in the Amen. name of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. If, Thank uh, you. If, Thank uh, you, sir. Thank you, yeah, You're welcome. You. If Ambassador uh, Lucy is there, just let her pop her screen up. I'm just trying to do the multitask as we continue to do it. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. If she's there, Praise please. Him in I, I, Praise him indeed. Praise him indeed. Right? To the right side. I'm okay. here, Pastor. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I see you now. Okay. He said, yet a little while, they will bring the file to your desk. It's like something that has been prepared and yet they're not bringing it for the final endorsement and everybody is waiting on it. And the Lord says, those who try to withhold it, from coming full circle, those individuals are being disabled so that the fear of the Lord will make them bring it to the fore and it will be signed. I see two major documents signed and it's going to pass through your table. Treat with dispatch, victory is here. Amen. That's what the Lord said. He said, treat with dispatch Amen. for victory is here. Those who kept it back before now, they no longer could keep it. It's too hot to be kept aside anymore. Father, thank you for doing that in the name of Jesus. And he said, I'm opening a two-leaved gate, meaning Amen. a double opportunity. I repeat, it's been recorded. You can play back when this thing has happened. He said, I'm opening a two-leaved gate that is a double opportunity that will win on both sides that will bring a consensus um, that will project things the way those who needed to see it will be able to see it. Because the enemy has been making some important oh, people in the circle not to see eyeball to eyeball. It's just like blocking off. If this person is saying yes, the other person is saying oh. no. If the other person is saying no, this other oh. person will be saying yes. The Lord says, I'm going to bring them to a value of decision that they will decide that these two documents will be signed. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I decree by heaven's Hallelujah. authority, let Hallelujah. every schism be broken. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over it. I command Hallelujah. it broken. They will see face to face and do the needful. Watch out for it. It's Amen. going to pass through your desk. Thank you, oh, Father, gosh. for a two-leaf gate. I believe you, you know what God is talking about here. Lord, thank you for a performance in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to pray Hallelujah. for you, uh, please. Tony. Uh, yes, Tony, Pastor Tony, please unmute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Glory to Jesus. Sir. Hallelujah. He said, you've circled this season long enough. I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to make you to turn northward. I'm about to make you turn, uh, turn northward and gather speed and gather momentum. And he mm -hmm. said, I will whistle for those things that needed to be put together. I will whistle for them and they will gather together very quickly. Lord, thank yeah. you for gathering speed and whistling yeah. for the hands that are needed to get Amen. the job done. Amen. Turn Amen. your daughter, cause her to turn northward on the side of the north, the city of the great king. Thank you for a new release of courage. Amen. Courage is not the absence of fear, said the Lord, but the victory or conquest in spite of the fear. There is this psalm that says, when I'm afraid, I will trust you. Mm -hmm. The ability and the capacity to trust him through the thick and the thin is released unto you. That your heart will be stable trusting him Amen. in the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. thank you for doing it. Cause thank her to you, move Jesus. towards you because there are things you plan to place in her hand. Lord God, as she opens up to you, that you will load her with the benefits of redemption benefits of redemption benefits amen. of redemption in the name of jesus amen, amen. thank you father thank you. Thank he said you. from all the corners they will come together because i'm whistling for them yeah. it's like you've been praying for uh, specific skill sets to come around the community of god's people People, I mean, people with specific skill sets. Some may be musical, some may be administrative, some may be accounting and all that. You will be praying for specific skill set that God will send such people mm. who will come in and become volunteers. And he said, behold, they come. Behold, they come. Amen. Father, thank you for sending volunteers. Thank you, sir. Amen, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank Lord. you, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bless you. Uh, uh, who, uh, this person, Aremu, please, can you unmute yourself? We're still going to pray for some time more. We still have over 10 minutes because I plan to go crossing that uh, 430 uh, mark. Yeah. Please, if you can hear me, just say amen or praise God. Just I know you hear me so I can speak. Grace, Aremu. Please, ma. Hallelujah. And then Aditnuke and the crew that is around her. Mama Aditnuke and the crew that's around her. Aremu, please. I yes, don't know if. Excuse me. Grace, Aremu, this person. I'm asking you to unmute yourself so I can know you can hear me. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Now yes, that sir. you can hear me, I just needed to be sure. So I'm not just speaking to somebody who is not listening. All That's right. why I call name. And so that if you watch it, you can always know which one is speaking. God is speaking through, through me to you. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. The Lord is saying a new level of courage is coming through for you. Amen. The things the enemy has used to discourage you or, or kind of, will I say, to panic you. It's like making fear to freeze you to a point where you know you ought to do this. You know you can pull it off. But to even get started becomes an issue. Yes. And uh, But God is saying everything the enemy has told against you to make you to procrastinate and postpone things that you need to be doing now. The Lord is saying that he is breaking that yoke off your back and that you will see more reason why you need to do it now and that he Amen. will come through. Amen. The, the difference between uh, God and the enemy called the devil is this. God brings grace. Grace says, I want you to do it, but don't worry. I will do it through you. Fear says, if you don't do it, I'm going to hurt you. And then you keep hearing for fear of hurt. 
you stay the for fear of not doing it well you keep postponing i will do it someday i will do it someday and time is running out but the lord is saying a new lease of courage is being released to you Amen. and that he will do it through you so i release courage to you i release speed to you in the name of jesus amen amen, amen. lord yeah father thank you for doing this for your daughter thank you he said you will be able to finish thank you mighty if I, I what i'm seeing here god is using like a house as like like the parable of a house here like somebody who started a house a building project and got it to the roofing stage and even finished roofing but the finishing of the interior became a challenge and then they say oh at least thank god we we'll finish the roof and we can and there's so much work to be done on the inside the lord says i'm going to begin to work on you from the inside out and it can as well be a physical house that is needing finishing touches receive grace that those finishing touches will come through in the, name of, jesus. In the name of jesus i receive thank it. you father thank for you. making this happen thank you my ticker in jesus name amen hallelujah. thank you sir hallelujah Yes. Mama, Adet Inuke, and the family there, the whole crew. I know there are more than two. So yes, let me one face at a time so that I'm not giving things that are not meant for the other. Or I'll do I'll do shotgun. That is a group word. Just oh, yeah. yeah. Let, I'm not seeing anybody here. What about now? Okay, I see somebody wearing a black yeah i can see let me see your face and then i can close my eyes and pray i don't use my physical eyes when i have to pray <laughs> it's the eyes of my heart <laughs> that's useful at that point okay what's your name ma my name is joy benjamin okay okay the the mother of the little friend of mine <laughs> no no little boy it's not it's a, mother's uh, blessing Okay, okay. Just bring your face there and let me just pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says the night is far spent. Mm. A new day is dawning. Mm. The night is far spent. Mm. A new yeah. day is dawning. And he mm. said you should be willing yeah. to shed the things of the past and press into the future. The future mm -hmm. we're planning yeah. about is here already. Receive strength Amen. to function in the new reality that God is bringing unto you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that every promise that has been made to you that seems that it has not been fulfilled, like maybe somebody promised to help you with a, a thing and is no longer talking about it. The Lord says Amen. things like that are being revived to fulfillment receive the yeah. help that the lord because if god will bless a person he will use a human being to do it yes angels yeah. may assist but it's only a human being that can deliver such results lord mm -hmm. i'm asking that let such result that will make her to shout for joy let it come through in the name of jesus Amen. thank you father thank, thank you jesus. thank you father thank and lord you, god lord. i thank you for causing shouts of joy to erupt in that household amen thank you for protecting children amen. from any form of domestic accidents amen. i speak against domestic accidents I, de I i decree none of such shall happen amen. in the name of jesus we will override amen. the plot of the enemy no domestic accident, mm -hmm. minor or major. Mm -hmm. We override that in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father, for bringing the blessing that will make them to shout for joy. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Sylvia. Sylvia. Amen. Yes, Daddy. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah. This is the Amen. word of Daddy. the Lord to you. Yes, Lord. I see the Lord roll what looks to me like a red carpet that is a one in a lifetime opportunity will be placed in front of you receive wisdom to manage it correctly so it can last and last well receive wisdom what i'm asking god for you is wisdom to manage a once in a lifetime opportunity 
you will manage it well and it yeah. will bring transformation. I see it very Amen. clearly. A once in a lifetime opportunity. Receive wisdom to manage it correctly in the name of Jesus. Yes, Let your fears be swallowed mm -hmm. up by the love of Christ in the name of Jesus. Let your fears be swallowed mm -hmm. up by the Lord. The fear of making a mistake is swallowed up because God is leading you to put your best foot forward. You will put your best foot forward in the name of Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Father, for yes, making Lord. this happen in Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Have I prayed Amen. for uh, Judith before? Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, thank you. Judith, have I prayed for you? Um, no, sir, you haven't. This is my first time. Okay, it's your first time. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Now, this is what the Lord is showing me. He said, he is able to make all grace to abound towards you. I see him, I see the Lord, like, there's been a season of planting and it's like a part, almost half of the field didn't quite grow. They were looking parched. The other part was green and it's the same planting season. But I see God speaking in parable, but it's a very clear parable. So he's saying that the part that has not taken root or grown before will suddenly receive a dose of rain that will Amen. make it to revive, refresh, Amen. and look as lush as the one that has been very green and lush before. Amen. Meaning, Things that has not worked here to, even though you put in the best, even sacrificially, but they didn't yield the kind of result you expected. God is saying he is blowing or breathing upon it and is sending showers that will Amen. make them to begin to sprout. I hear him recover time. I see the Lord recover from the months and the time in which those investment of time and effort that didn't yield results. I see the Lord bringing results that overshoot what you saw before. Amen. You know it's possible. Why it didn't happen then, you can't explain. But Amen. the Lord said, this is your Kairos moment. Amen. This is your Kairos moment. I see, I see people call you to give you information that helps your next, in fact, the one you are on now, I see God send people to you to help you move it to where it need to be. Amen. It's like somebody starting a pilot project and suddenly there is provision for a permanent site where these things can really take full-blown expression. Amen. Thank you for making this seed to become a big one. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for making this happen. Amen. The arm of the enemy is broken. Amen. I say congratulations. Thank you. The, the arm of the enemy is broken. Amen. And I say congratulations. He said, henceforth, you will take root. Please mark these words. He said, henceforth, you will take root downwards and you will bring forth fruit upward. Amen. He said, you will see the results and you will know this is the hand of God. Amen. Thank you for a season of results. Thank you, Jesus. The fields are green now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, Father. you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Bupola, please, ma, unmute. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Okay, good evening. Hallelujah. I hear laughter. Laughter. He said, they that be of him shall possess the gates of them that hate them. I hear laughter. 
And laughter are in two folds. Laughter are in two folds. When God laughs, he's making jest of the enemy who have tried his worst and still didn't amount to anything. And the second side of it, when he laughs, he's telling the enemy, it's like Elijah telling the prophets of Baal, is that your best? Try a little harder. And they come to naught. Father, thank you for seasons of laughter. You laugh at the enemy's plots and you bring your counsel to pass. Thank you for making things happen. I hear laughter. So, oh, the enemy missed it badly. Oh, the counsel of the Lord happened. Lord, I thank you for bringing laughter. He said, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 30, verse 19. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. Lord, thank you for causing a situation that triggers laughter, spontaneous laughter. For your counsel is holding. Thank you for making it happen. Thank you, sir. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. laughter. That's all I hear. Laughter. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. There is a, okay, this, this is the woman. Titi Lyo. He said, and you shall yet see the plume line. The Lord said, you shall yet build many. Please, ma, I'm already talking to you. Titi yes, Lyo. Oh, Tomo. Yes, sir, I'm here. Sir. Okay. The Lord said, you shall yet see the plume line. You know, the mm -hmm. one that masons use to set bricks to yes, build sir. the wall. Yeah. The Lord said, you shall yet see the plume line. Meaning Amen. you will see things being corrected. Amen. That has not been done right before. You will see them being corrected by the Amen. hand of the Lord. Amen. And that the result will be better. You see, this is what the Lord is saying. He said he can do more, even your mistakes, than your best design. So expect some beautiful surprises. Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you for the beautiful surprises. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Lord God, for the beautiful surprises you bring across. And I, I, I sense it's going to begin very, very quickly. Amen. Amen. And he said, the things that have been hidden from you, the Lord will begin to be unveiling them Amen. so that you know how to respond to them. Amen. 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 Thank you for making it. Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Yeshua. Yes, Let it rest upon your human spirit. Amen. And influence your mind to move in the right trajectory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank Amen. you for making it happen, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So you, the Thank next you, generation will celebrate that you were born and that you fulfilled purpose. Amen. Those who you will build will build many others. Amen. Amen. Those who you will build and you are building will build many, many more. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank okay, you. Let Lord. me bring this person in. Yeah. Thank you, sir. We we'll, 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 we'll give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Um, Violet, where are you? Trying to use Good, my good evening, Apostle. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, yeah. now I can see you. I see you. Yeah. Thank you. He said, while you rejoice, wait for me to do it for you. God is already doing something beautiful. Amen. He said, trust me with it. Wait for me to yeah. do it for you. Amen. Hebrews, Hebrews 4.16 is your scripture right now. Hebrews 4.16. Yes, it said, come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain, because you can only receive what God has given. Amen. Okay? He said, yes. yeah. He said, come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help. 
when you need help the most. Amen. And he said help is on the way. It's Amen. actually within a goalpost range. Amen. Thank you, Father, for bringing help to your daughter within Amen. a goalpost range where you Amen. can shoot the ball and hit the mark. Thank you Amen. because you help her. That grace will make her to hit the mark. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I feel such a presence here. Glory to Jesus. I feel such a presence. Who is the numero uno? I don't know this numero Okay, it's been here before. But Lord, thank you very much for this person. I hope you... No, unmute yourself, numero uno. Okay, are you doing this up? Good evening. This, you know... Okay, let me just say what the Lord is uh, showing me concerning this person. Uh, the Lord says that uh, the issue of a second chance is being given you. Please, whosoever's voice is playing in the background, let the background noise be off. Thank you, Father. I don't want anybody okay, to you can hear me, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. The Lord says, like he said to the man Abraham, Genesis 22, verse 14 and 15. I sense the Lord is giving this person a second chance to get things right. The first time didn't quite work out. But the second time, the Lord said, in this place, I will give peace. So I see here a second chance being given. Receive grace to hit the mark this time in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Lord, man. let the opportunity to say, oh, I got it right this time. Let it come through in Jesus' yeah, name. Man. Lord God, I thank yeah, you. Man. Write that scripture down. Go and check it. Thank you, Father. Genesis 22, verses 14 and 15. Thank you, sir. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. Father. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. My, uh, Mr. Adigbola, Adigbola Lambo, please unmute. Unmute. Aha, uh -huh, good. Hallelujah. Father God, yeah. I want to thank you. Lord, I thank you for a release of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Your word says that if anybody lacks wisdom, let them ask of you. Lord, let there be a release of wisdom for this man. Amen. Order his steps. Amen. Prompt him, inspire him. Move Amen. him to position and speak Amen. through him in the Amen. name of Jesus. Let your Amen. wisdom be activated within him that Amen. will propel him to do something that will change things very quickly Amen. in the name of Jesus. That Amen. is it, Lord God. We thank you. We download this because Amen. he said we will ask and we will receive. Amen. And your name will be glorified. Let it be. become a new song. Give him the opportunity of a new song in Amen. the name of thank Jesus. You. Thank you, Father. He said, I will open a door that will lead to many other doors. Receive Amen. grace Amen. to see. Amen. That your eyes be trained to see the door that Amen. will lead to several others. Receive Amen. it, and the blessing of access is on you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Be given Amen. access, be given privileges. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' um, name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory Amen. to God. Um, yeah. Josephine of Igutu. Hear the word of the Lord. He said, I am the Lord, I change not. I am the Lord, I change not. That's why you, the descendants of Israel, are not consumed. Thank you, Lord God, for building a defense around your daughter. Thank Amen. you for building a defense around her. Thank Amen. you because she will build according to pattern. 
Lord Amen. God, thank you for leading and teaching her to build according to pattern. And Amen. thank you, Lord, for the intervention of mercy and for the intervention of grace. Thank, thank you for you. doing this, Father. Uh, the Lord is uh, making me to see some things. Lord God, cause her to build it according to pattern, according Amen. to your design, according to your intent, not outside your scope in the Amen. name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are the shield that shields Israel. Shield her according Amen. to your word in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There is this person here on this other part I have not prayed with for some time. Akinka, yeah, that's the person. I think we can we, we can begin to shut down now. We've, we've almost done two mm -hmm. hours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. You, you see, please, I don't want any sound. I want to hear clearly. Whosoever's number is still open, please. Everybody whose microphone is on should be switched. Please. Hello. Yeah. I can hear you. Please, Edith, Dr. Edith, please, you need to just mute yourself. I could hear some sound from there. Okay. Hallelujah. Yeah, uh -huh. I can hear you, sir. Okay. Where is Akinyinka? I want to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I've seen. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the numbers that are up. Okay. Just stay there. Let's pray. Thank you, Father. If there has been something like either a document or something like maybe you misplaced and you've been searching for some time just to get it, it's not lost. It's just that you didn't know where it's been placed. And it's a physical thing. It could be a document. It could be something. But I, I see the Lord making you to have what I would call sudden discovery. He's just showing me that just receive access to that which seemed to have been either been hidden too far that you forgot where it was kept. But receive grace to find it intact the way it was kept, let it come forth. I see a second chest of drawer being pulled out and you're finding what you're looking for there. Receive grace to access it in the name of Jesus. And more than that, he said, they will file this whole thing and it will yield the desired result. Thank you, Father God, for filing things in heaven's court and bringing the result bigger than what she initially subscribed to in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord God, I pray for the mercy of God to bring things to her so she wouldn't have to chase after them. I see things that you would have loved to chase after till you get it being brought close so that you can access. Let the blessing and the privilege of access be given you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. He said, there will be no more crossroad. The path will be straight in front of you till you get to that place and there will be a witness that, okay, this is it. We give you glory and praise, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, mm -hmm. where is uh uh okay? Yeah, I can if I drop the okay, excuse me. Yeah, if I lower your yeah, that's biology. If I lowered your hand and want to talk to you, just unmute yourself. I've just done that. Please, ma. If you can't say anything, just type praise the Lord or just let me know that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've seen you. I've seen you. This is it. Thank you, Father. 
you have asked for speed and speed is being given within the time frame. El Olam, the God that lives outside of time but controls time. I agree with you that he walked things to line so that your intent desire will line up with his counsel and speed will be given so that these things can fall into position in the name of Jesus. You need time to get these things done. And I see God like expedite things and making them happen. And there is this long wound, as it were, that the Lord is dealing with and bringing closure to. This is it. He said the Lord is bringing closure to a wound. It's not a physical wound. It seems to be either emotional or spiritual. But closure is being brought to it. And then you, you, you will do what I call celebration of triumph over what has become prolonged. God is bringing closure to that. Even as he adds speed for the rest of the journey. Thank you for making this happen, dear Lord. Thank you for bringing closure to Rick. It will no longer bother your daughter in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. So keep your words positive. Keep speaking according as you have been commanded. For God is making Isaiah 65 verse 24 to happen for you. Thank you, Father. You can read it 23 and 24, Isaiah 65. You can read it. It's a now word now. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Where is the other person I was trying to? Because uh, where is this person? Okay, yeah. Oh, large you okay. Please, ma. Mm -hmm. Let me drop this. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. I'm trying to just drop the sign that you have of how are you today? Good evening. God, Thank God. you, Father. Thank you, Father. God says, I will show you the details in vivid HD. I will show you the details so you know how to respond. Mm. It's like an offer being made to someone, but because it's been gone back and forth, back and forth, and so you're no longer trusting that if they make the offer now, if they will really actually deliver it to you. But God says, this time, you will get it. Amen. It's an offer, and I agree, and I come into agreement with you. You are getting it. Amen. The offer will not go to the second best. Amen. Grace for you to be the preferred candidate, the Amen. preferred person. Amen. It's released. I see the offer comes through in the Thank name you. of Jesus. Amen. You are preferred. Thank That's you. all God is saying. You Thank are preferred. You, you are you preferred. Lord. Grace for preference is Amen. released upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Yeah, Father. thank you, Father God. Yeah. Uh, OG Beatrice, ma, please, ma, oh, you, unmute sir. yourself. Thank you, Father. Uh, good before, evening. Yeah. Okay. Good oh. evening. Yeah, good evening, ma. Good evening, ma. Immediately, I click yes for you to enter. <laughs> the place your face is just jumped downward here. But I can see you now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord God, I want to thank you. you your word is saying, don't say, uh, I have not gotten all that has been promised. Miracles delayed are miracles multiplied. When they come, they become bigger and better. I hear bigger and better. I hear bigger and better. Lord, thank you for releasing that even to your daughter, Beatrice, in the name of Jesus. The fullness of time is come. Let it be bigger and better in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for bigger and better. In the name of Jesus. You know, the, the picture the Lord is showing me here right now is like somebody who said, my salary is small. 
and suddenly he announced to the person, your retirement benefit is more than 5,000 times more than your salary. That's bigger and better. <laughs> Lord, thank you for the grace for bigger and better coming upon Beatrice right now in the name of Jesus. Receive grace for bigger and better in Jesus' name. Amen. Ma, are you a civil servant? Where is she? Has the phone disappeared? Hello? I can no longer see. Okay. Yes, I'm asking a question. I say, this internet, oh my. Yeah. I, I, are you a civil servant or were you a civil servant? Ma? No, no sir. You are not? No, sir. Okay, yeah. The reason why I'm asking is because of bureaucracy. But this is what the Lord is saying. What is coming through next is bigger and better. Amen. Bigger and better. And Amen. so for whatever it is that's been an expectation, the delivery will be bigger and better. Please write today Amen. down. Bigger and Amen. better is coming through. You will be able to say it. Yeah. It's, in my own words, I will say serendipity. You're looking for $1,000. You found $400,000 way beyond what was being planned. Thank Amen. you for making it happen. We Thank wait to hear Jesus. the feedback. Thank you, Father. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, Ashiwaju, this person, Ashiwaju, will be rounding off now. Every other person will there. Have to DM me. Yeah, Ashiwaju, please, if you can hear me, just say praise God. Praise God. Okay, yes, you get us. Because you are no longer where I clicked the number a moment ago. Thank you, Father. Lord God, I want to thank you very much for your son. Father, thank you very much for for prudence and for, for wisdom, Lord, to do things kingdom style. I don't know your circumstances or your reality, but I see you almost like surrounded by politicians. Lord, give your son wisdom. You may not be actively a politician, but it's like your confidence and the people you can call your team or your people. They are very, they are all very political. And so you need more than their wisdom level to function with them if you must win or gain. So receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. That's all the Lord is showing me. Amen. Lord, let wisdom be imparted to the heart of my brother here in the name of Jesus. Some people are using euphemism with you. They are not speaking straight. They're speaking almost like in parables and it's like, you're not getting it as they, uh, you're trusting them more than what they mean to you. But I believe that God will begin to show the details as the weeks unfold. So that the major projects, you will know how to respond as it were. Because there are things that are waiting to happen and it's going to be very competitive. Uh, even when they are not telling the whole truth from their heart, you'll be able to read between the lines. Receive. Please, sir, put your hand on your chest, your right hand on your chest. Let me just do a prophetic act. You just decree a thing. Lord, we are asking that this man will be able to read their next move and position himself so that he will be advantaged. Receive the grace to be advantaged Amen. in the name of Jesus. Because Amen. they don't tell the whole truth to you. But you trust in what they said to you. But the Lord will hold them by that word so that they can keep their word to you. In the name of Jesus. Are you a businessman, Amen. sir? No, sir. Are you a, um, are you a businessman, sir? Mr. Ashiwaju, I need to hear that so that I know. Hello, no, are you a, no, sir, do you not. work for yourself? Do you work for yourself? Presently, yes. 
Okay, that's what I mean. Whatever it is that you do that puts food on the table is a business. That's why I use the general word, are you a businessman? The reason for asking that question is, God wants to do something for you so that others will not take credit for what you have done. Receive grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And let me, just, let me just confirm this also. Your circle of friends, almost like three, four of them, are they all politically uh, active people? The ones you can call your circle. Yeah. You, they may not be, uh, well, I mean, well, they may well, not be people who have posts as it were, but are they all politically active? Uh, well, like I, I have I have some of them around me. You have some of them around you. Yes, sir. Always have at the back of your mind whatever it is they are telling you is in coded language. They don't mean all that they are saying, okay? You need the wisdom of God to be able to decode these people, okay? Let's talk after this because I may not be able to break it down in the public like this for you, okay? Maybe we'll talk tomorrow. I know it's far, it's late over there now in Nigeria. It is well. Lord, I pray for wisdom for this man to navigate with these people. Lord God, that that which is in his hand, you will cause you to blossom in his hand in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Amen. Father God, for that which he Thank left you, to start this business. Let him become overqualified for where he wish he could go back to. Amen. Let the one in his hand blossom in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Maybe one more person and we'll be good. Me. Thank you, where sir. is it? Okay, yes. Caroline, I thought I have prayed for you. Yeah, but my internet was shaky. I didn't was hear was shaky. Well. You didn't hear. Let me say yeah. this. Go and like the, the YouTube channel. You will have everything that was spoken. Because if I speak to you now, I won't speak exact same thing. I will pick part okay. of it because I'm not okay. I, I'm listening to heaven and telling people. So okay. But I, I, I remember God, the part of the thing he said, I remember it as I'm looking at you. But you'll have the yeah. whole package. You are almost the first person I spoke to. Yes, Go to the channel. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. That one you won't have to be in a hurry. Are you getting okay. it? It's recorded. Yeah. It's going to be uploaded okay. by this before this time tomorrow. You have it on the web. Just go there. Go and play the part that she, from where I started speaking pe to people okay. that you have. But you need the teaching okay. as well. Listen to the whole thing. Okay. Just the the channel is my the name in full. Whosoever gave you the number okay. should know my name, or at least you have my yes. name. Uh -huh. My name in full, mm -hmm. Apostle Sylvester, will go to. Just search for it on YouTube. It will take you to the channel. You will find today's meeting. It will be titled, and you can look at it. Okay? God okay. bless you. Okay, thank you. God You're welcome. You. Thank you. Can we give praise mm -hmm. to God? Okay. Pastor, hey, hey, you, hey, did, you didn't pray no, for no, no. me. Listen. You can always, I'm watching the time. Okay, it's after five. I mean, we've done more than two hours. You did pray for Falasha too. Falasha day, okay. Yes. You know what? Let me give you a privilege. I still want to close. Okay, sir. Let, whoever gave you the contact, let the person give you my direct line in the US. Okay, I'll sir. pray with you before you go to bed. Okay, I sir. need to close this meeting, please. All right, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, because I need to close this meeting now.